Hey guys, it's Brian coming to you from Cliffs Amusement Park in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Here on a quick layover as I typically do. So, uh, never been to this park and uh, heard some good things, so let's go check it out. So let's head over and uh, check out the New Mexico Rattler. So to enter the New Mexico Rattler, they have uh, three different entrances. One for the front car, one for the middle cars, and one for the back car. And the queues are entirely separate for all three. So this is the queue for the middle cars. They're running one train today, and dispatches have been pretty slow. Uh, but let's uh, hop on and take a ride. All right, so I just got off of the New Mexico Rattler. Man, that's actually a really great ride. Um, very custom coaster, if you would. Uh, for those of you who don't know the history of New Mexico Rattler, uh, CCI started building it before they went uh, under and dissolved and the park took it upon themselves to finish the ride and uh, it's a re it's it's just fun a uh, lot of twists and turns great pops of airtime a couple of tunnels uh, and you see how it just wraps its way around all the different rides in the park uh, so here you can see this uh, star flyer I think uh, they got a old school tilt to whirl it's the exit of New Mexico Rattler and then it goes around the uh, kitty area over there. Let's see what's down this way. Got a nice drop tower going over there. As you can see, the park is not very busy today. It's about uh, 4.30, 5 o'clock on a Tuesday. Park closes in about an hour or so. Some uh, nice little theming over here. This is the way over to uh, Galaxy. So let's go uh, check that one out next. All right, so uh, just got off the Galaxy, which is uh, the second Galaxy I've been on uh, in the span of like a month. Um, if you saw the video for the Funplex in Omaha, uh, then you know that I actually really enjoyed that coaster. Uh, this one as well. Um, must be something about these models that uh, is easy to maintain and, and keeps them running pretty smoothly. Uh, this one does have quite a few trims, especially towards the end, so it does lose some momentum. Um, but overall, it's still a fun ride, uh, a classic. And uh, just as it was going around the corner there, it stopped. So uh, that's got to be awkward for them. Glad I just got off. Um, hopefully they'll uh, be able to shimmy their way down. So the park also has a small uh, train, like a CP honey train. We actually have some really cool theming on the train. Sad clown. You can see the uh, galaxy we're about to go around that.
love a good train ride that uh, actually gives you a view of uh, all the rides that you can do. Kind of helps you plan your day and. Get a good overall view of uh, what you want to do. So you can uh, see the uh, water park, Water Mania over here. Some uh, cool theming for the log flume. Wow, this actually goes a lot further than I thought. The water is very blue. Over here is the front of the park. You can see definitely not too crowded today. We have our birthday pavilion, lockers. Let's get another view of New Mexico Rattler here. moment for me of uh, views of the outside was from the top of the lift of New Mexico Rattler you can see the Taco Bell and I love Taco Bell so that uh, was almost a more beautiful view than uh, top of the lift of the Coney Island Cyclone looking out into the Atlantic Ocean it looks like our train ride is coming to an end here so uh, let's see what else the park has to offer They have one of these uh, SBF Visa spinning coasters over here. This one didn't spin too much. Uh, some swing sets, kid rides, uh, all surrounded by the uh, New Mexico Rattler up here. Oh, awesome. We're actually going to uh, see this batch. Guys, I have an exclusive for you. Rocky Mountain confirmed for Cliffs Amusement Park. Rocky Mountain right there. All right, so that about does it for my uh, trip to Cliffs Amusement Park, one of the more out of the way parks. What did I think? Uh, overall thoughts? 
definitely not sad like this guy. I generally enjoyed the park. Um, there's three credits here, so if you're just interested in the credits, they have the Galaxy, the Spinning Coaster, and the New Mexico Rattler. Uh, New Mexico Rattler, definitely a uh, thumbs up for me. I really enjoyed the ride. Um, train was really fun. Good way to see the park. And, uh, you know, they have a good collection of other flat rides as well. Uh, price point wasn't too bad. Uh, it's not too busy today, so I spent maybe 45 minutes, an hour, uh, just kind of running through the park, uh, taking some video, and uh, riding the rides. But uh, definitely one of the more out-of-the-way parks. There really isn't anything else around for a couple hundred miles. Uh, if you happen to be on a layover in Albuquerque, it's about 15-20 minutes from the airport, so definitely doable. Uh, if you're just here for a couple of hours, sitting in the Albuquerque Sunport. Uh, but if you wanted to make a bigger day of it, you probably could, especially with the water park and uh, going on some more of the flat rides. Uh, overall, highly recommend it. Um, really a fun park. Uh, staff seem pretty friendly and uh, it's very clean, which is uh, always a positive from a... Uh, small park like this. Uh, anyways, if you've ever been here, let us know. Uh, if you're planning on coming uh, and need some advice, uh, feel free to leave that in the comments. And uh, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. We'll see you in the parks.